You know what I can't stand? This expression, the internet of things. What kind of grammar is that? Who talks like that? Yoda. Help you I will. I mean, it's not even especially accurate, right? I mean, the things do not make an internet. What it means is networkable objects. I mean, devices that can get online. And they're cropping up everywhere in every conceivable category. And of course, you gotta get an app to control every single one. So what the world needs now is one app to control them all. Like for example, this. For 50 bucks, you get this hub and an app that lets you control this huge number of products from different companies. Once you've got everything going, you can't believe the fun you can have. My Philips Hue lights. A little mood lighting breath. My connected by TCP light bulbs, the LED bulbs in those lamps over there can control them from anywhere I am in the world. Or this quirky plus GE power strip. I can control the outlets individually. My door lock by remote control. We have very small doors. My smoke alarm. Oh good, the battery's fine. And there are if then statements. If the door unlocks, then turn on the lights. And I can set up shortcuts that operate multiple things at once. When I hit this button, turn on everything. I can set things to go on and off on a schedule. Turn the lights on from 9 to 11 p.m. to fool the burglars. Okay, but what you don't know is that it took me two days and seven calls to tech support to get all these things to work. I mean, it was awful. The idea is brilliant. A unified single way to set up each device. You pick the category, you pick the product you bought. The first screen always shows you a video. Good. Sometimes a couple more screens and then success. But a lot of times you just get stupid, frustrating, unexplained errors. Like this one. Or this one. Can't find the hub? It's right there! Now there are lots of other unified hubs like this, but they're all much more expensive, like $200, $300, and they don't speak as many of the home automation wireless languages. But dang, they really gotta get it together, because if they don't, someone else will. We already know that Apple, Google, and Samsung are all working on home automation standards and apps. I really hope they perfect this stuff, because until then, the Internet of Things is really more like the internet of things made by all these different manufacturers that don't work well together and it's a real pain. <laughs>